This video covers some of the basic steps for installing the Graco HeadWise 70 convertible car seat featuring safety surround side impact protection. We'll go over how to install the seat both rear and forward facing with latch and with your vehicle seat belt. Before installing your car seat, please always refer to your car seat manual and your vehicle manual for complete instructions and information. To install the HeadWise 70 rear-facing using latch or lower anchors and tether for children, please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points, which may be visible at the vehicle seat crease. If they're not visible, they may be marked with a car seat symbol or a red dot. Consult your vehicle manufacturer's manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. Make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Pull the handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to rear-facing position, marked with a 1. Make sure the forward-facing latch belt is stored, and place the car seat in the back seat of the car, so that it's facing the rear of the vehicle. Extend the latch belt to its maximum length. Attach the rear-facing latch connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors. Make sure the belt is flat and not twisted. You'll hear an audible click. Pull the connectors to be sure they're securely attached. Press down firmly in the center of the seat while pulling the latch adjustment belt through the slot in the seat pad. Make sure the free end of the belt is outside the seat area. To check for secure installation, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move more than one inch side to side or forward. If it does, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. With your vehicle still on level ground, check the level indicator on the bottom of the seat. The ball must be entirely in the blue area. The rear-facing position is designed for a child from 4 to 40 pounds. Place your child in the car seat with the harness straps over the child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just below the child's shoulders. Your child's head should be at least one inch below the red handle. Connect the buckle and then the chest clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. To install the HeadWise 70 rear-facing using your vehicle's seat belt, pull the handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to rear-facing position, marked with a 1. Make sure both the rear-facing and forward-facing latch belts are stored, and place the car seat in the back seat of your car so that it's facing the rear of the vehicle. The car seat should sit firmly on your vehicle's back seat. Be sure to check your vehicle owner's manual to make sure you install the car seat correctly for the type of seat belt in your car. Thread the vehicle seat belt through the rear facing openings under the seat pad and buckle the belt. Do not pass the vehicle belt over the top of the seat pad. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the seat belt. To check for secure installation, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move more than one inch side to side or forward. If it does, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Make sure your car is on level ground and check the level indicator on the bottom of the seat. The ball must be entirely in the blue area. The rear-facing position is designed for a child from 4 to 40 pounds. Place your child in the car seat with the harness straps over the child's shoulders. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just below the child's shoulders. Your child's head should be at least one inch below the red handle. Connect the buckle and then the chest clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. Now we'll go over how to install the HeadWise 70 in forward-facing mode using latch. Please ensure your vehicle is equipped with latch lower anchor points and consult your vehicle manufacturer's manual for latch usage and weight guidelines. 
Pull the red recline handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to the forward facing position, either position 2 or 3. Make sure the rear facing latch belt is stored and unhook the tether from the tether storage. Place the car seat firmly on the back seat of your car, facing the front seat of the vehicle. Extend the latch belt to its maximum length. Attach the forward-facing connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors so that the belt is flat and not twisted. You'll hear an audible click. Pull the connectors to be sure they're securely attached and slide the car seat back until it's in contact with the vehicle's seat back. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the latch belt by pulling the adjustment belt. To check for secure installation, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move more than one inch side to side or forward. If it does, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Attach the tether hook located at the top of the car seat onto your vehicle's anchor point and tighten the tether belt to remove any slack. The forward facing position is for children who are between 20 and 70 pounds. Place your child in the car seat. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are at or just above the child's shoulders. Your child's ears should be below the top of the head support. If the tops of their ears are above the top of the head support, your child is too large for the seat. Connect the buckle and the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. If you've already reviewed your owner's manual, then you're ready to go. Now we'll go over how to install the Headwise 70 in forward-facing mode using the seat belt. Make sure your vehicle is on level ground. Pull the red recline handle on the front of the car seat and adjust to forward-facing position, either position 2 or 3. Make sure the rear-facing and forward-facing latch belts are stored. Unhook the tether from the tether storage. Place the car seat in the back seat of your car so that the back of the car seat firmly touches the back of the vehicle seat. Be sure to check your vehicle owner's manual to make sure you install the car seat correctly for the type of seat belts in your car. Thread the seat belt through the forward facing belt path openings. Then buckle the seat belt. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat to compress the vehicle seat cushion while tightening the vehicle seat belt. To check for secure installation, hold the seat and pull front to back and left to right at the belt path. The car seat should not move more than one inch side to side or forward. If it does, continue to tighten and retest until the movement is less than one inch. Attach the tether hook located at the top of the car seat onto your vehicle's anchor point and tighten the tether belt to remove any slack. If your vehicle does not have the top tether anchor, the car seat's top tether hook should be stored. The forward-facing harness position is for children who are between 20 and 65 pounds. Place your child in the car seat. Squeeze and pull up on the red head support adjustment handle to adjust the harness height so that the shoulder straps are just above the child's shoulders. Your child's ears should be below the top of the head support. If the tops of their ears are above the top of the head support, your child is too large for the seat. Connect the buckle and the harness clip. Tighten the harness so that it's snug. Then adjust the chest clip so that it's at your child's armpit level. You should not be able to pinch the harness if it's snug. To provide the most secure installation of the Headwise 70 car seat, read the vehicle owner's manual regarding child restraint installation and seat belt use with child restraint. Follow all instruction labels on vehicle seat belt and child restraint. If the child restraint is not held securely after following instructions in the instruction manual, vehicle seat belt labels, and the vehicle owner's manual, move the child restraint to another seating location and try again. Or you can visit the seatcheck.org website to find the child car seat inspection station nearest you.